Oh no, it's trying to connect. Hi! I hope you guys are there. It just said it was trying to reconnect. So now I'm a little worried. So make sure as soon as you jump on you say hi. So I won't start until I see some faces. So what's up everyone? It's Monday night. Seems like the weeks are flying by. Hi Aunt Sarah. Good, I see Aunt Sarah, that's good. So, anyway, oh, there's Robin, okay, good. There's some faces hopping on. Hi Elaine, hello everyone. So it's just been a crazy day, so that's why I put that, um, it's just another Manic Monday up in the comments, like for all my 80s friends. Hi Nessa, there's lots of other people that probably know that song. But just been busy today, and um, Todd surprised me, and he got home early, actually. And so um, we went out to lunch together, and then, uh, you know, then I had to go do my shopping and everything. And then our son called and needs his help laying sod, and Gavin's going to play softball, and so... It's, and the missionaries need to come, or we're coming over. So now they got to come over here because Gavin's not home. It's just, it's a crazy, crazy Monday night. So that's why I said, it's just another manic Monday. So anyway, so I'm just going to like do a meal prep thing today. We're going to make manicotti. I don't know if any of you have ever made manicotti. And so, because we had a late lunch, we're really not even hungry. So I'm just going to prep uh, and get the manicotti all made, show you how to make it. And then Wednesday night, we'll cook it off and I'll make a salad and some bread or something to go with it. So you guys can see the finished product. I'm just going to, just like I tell you guys that you could do with your, your recipes and things. You can make them ahead of, a time, ahead of time and stuff, so... So anyways, that's what we're going to do. Hi, Miss Janet. So, anyways, so probably won't be a super, um, you've heard of it, you've never had it. Well, we're gonna make, we're gonna make just a cheese manicotti. You can also add meat to your sauce if you want to. Hi, Sandy Palmer. Uh, this is one of um, my son Gavin's favorite dishes. He always wanted this for his birthday growing up. So, Anyways, you wished it was Sunday. <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, is it just another manic? I thought it was just another manic Monday. Someone better look that up. I wish it was. Sunday. Oh, wish it was Sunday. Okay, cause that's my fun day. Sorry, I'm slow. My daughter's over here singing it to me like, "Mom, you're an idiot." So, okay. Haha. Uh -huh. All right. Welcome everyone. So we're just gonna get going. So we're gonna make. This recipe will make a 9 by 13 pan, okay? Um, and so I just lightly greased this and then just set it to the side just to help so that everything doesn't stick, all the cheese and all the all that kind of stuff so you have easy, easy cleanup. So the first thing that we're going to do... Oh, and I also, before we get going, I just wanted to uh, say sorry we forgot a word. On Saturday we got off and we were like oh we didn't give we didn't give a word for Saturday so so we'll do a word tonight for sure and um, so we can keep that going so we keep that funness going so anyway so welcome everyone we're so glad you're here we're so glad to hang out and it was really fun hanging out with Holly all weekend we had we had a good time so we went to her sister and well Kelly's sister's house and had a barbecue Saturday night and that was uh, super super fun so that's that's what we did and then we did some work too okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grate some mozzarella cheese and you need three cups of mozzarella cheese for this recipe um, yeah Todd is not here Todd actually, he just left. He was going to be here. And then our son called and asked if he could come help him. Um, you're having sh snow showers? 
We were having a little rain today, nothing major, but just a little sprinkle. So Todd went over to help Tyler, our second son, lay some sod at his house. So he left. So it's just Haley and I tonight. Yeah, it's cold here too. I told Todd I want to turn the heat back on. But anyways, because it was freezing. All right, so we're just going to grade our cheese. I like to grade my own cheese. It's just better. So this is mozzarella, and we need three cups. So anyways, am I good, Haley? I'm not like... Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Because it's just, I'm just worried now that it, because, you know, it's really cloudy outside, and our internet is, um, is satellite, so when it's cloudy, sometimes it's a little sketch. So anyways, all right. Just gonna grate some cheese. I wish I had a fancy cheese grater, but I don't. It's okay. We'll measure and see how close we are and see if I need to open up the other one. Oh, there's my daughter in law. Hi, Allie. What's up, girl? Um, can we see your daughter? Haley, they want to see you. Okay, she'll come say hi, Joanne. They want to see you. She's even dressed and, re and ready today. She usually doesn't like to get on if she's, you know, but she had to do a class presentation today at school, so she looks super cute. Her makeup and her hair is all curled. She looks super cute. Oh, there's Miss Holly. Okay, so I'm going to see how much cheese we got here. So this is a one cup, so... Anyway, I don't know where she went. Maybe she went to look in the mirror. So this is perfect. I didn't even have to open up my new block of cheese. This is perfect. Okay, so for the mixture that we're making for the manicotti, um, you just want to use one cup of the cheese, okay? Oh, here she comes. There she is. There she is. <laughs> oh, Hello. Hello. Yep. There she is. She's doing homework over here on the counter. So, hi, Sue Ellen. So, that's my daughter, Haley. You have any available sons about 23 or older? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> She'll kill me. Anyways, I know. I'm just joking. I just had to make a joke. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, so we got one cup of cheese in for the mixture. We have two cups. Um, we're gonna set off to the side. This is going to be for the top. And Sarah says, hi, Haley. Hello. <laughs> she says, hello. All right, so I wanna make sure I'm, I'm doing this right. Okay. Um, yep, all right. Okay, then the next thing that we're gonna do, the recipe calls for ricotta. And you can use ricotta if you like it. My family does not care for ricotta cheese. So I just use um, small, uh, small curd cottage cheese is what um, I use. And this is a 24 ounce one. And you only need 16, so I'm not gonna put it all in, but it's most of it. So I just get the small curd cottage cheese and then my family likes it much better. They don't. They don't care for the ricotta. So, ah, and Holly says you always look beautiful. Aw. Aw, how sweet. And then you're gonna need a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Half a cup. This is the only cheese that I'll buy in the bag. I don't mind Parmesan in the bag. So. Hi, Christy. I don't care for ricotta, but I mix the ricotta and cottage cheese together. Oh, I should try that. I should try that. I just, my family just doesn't like it, so I've never done that, but that might be a good idea. So, but yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, and then we're gonna put an egg in here. So you're gonna want one egg going into our, so it's kind of just like the cheese mixture for lasagna, right? 
So we're just going to pop the egg in, but it's just made a little differently. So it's just kind of fun, all the different kind of noodles they have. There is no text word for today because Holly and I forgot to do one on Monday. But I will tell you at the end of the video what the text word for tomorrow is. Um, yes, Joanne, I do like that recipe that you sent, and I'm going to try it. I got to try it for my family and before I do it on a live video, but yes. Hi, Miss Peggy. I think it looks really good. Todd even said that too. He's like, this looks really good. There goes my nose. All right. Okay, so we got that all mixed in. And then we're going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning. No, that's our own. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Let's see. How much did it say? one tablespoon so quite a bit so I just like to fill the inside of my palm up that's a good way to measure so just put your palm like that and then just kind of fill that up that's a pretty good measure when you're not worried about it no Peggy I have not made the gumbo yet you know every time I, I shouldn't have put it in my closet or in my pantry so I'm gonna pull it out now that you reminded me and do that too. So no, I have not. I put it in my pantry and it's like out of sight, out of mind. So I am so sorry about that. Um, Holly doesn't like ricotta cheese, but I'm going to do it, Peggy. I promise you I'm going to do it. So, okay. But I cannot, I cannot tell a lie. My 54 year old brain uh, forgets things easy. Okay, and then the last thing that you're going to need to do is we're going to put some spinach in this. So, um, you want to get as much of the water out of your spinach as you can. So, I just uh, left this out on the counter so it's all good and uh, thawed out. That's what I'm trying to say. And then we're just going to put it in this little uh, towel right here and just wring out the water. You can do it in pa with paper towel too, but I feel like sometimes the paper towel just um, breaks on you. It just makes a mess. So, but this is the easiest way that I found to get all the excess water out of your spinach. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get yourself a little bar towel, hand towel, whatever you call it, and we're just gonna put this spinach right in the middle of it. So. Okay, I think uh, we need like a cup of spinach, okay? So I'm just using this bag. And then I just have a bowl right here. And we're just gonna take this spinach, just like this, and just like wring it out. S squish it in your hands and get all that extra juice out of there. Can you guys see all that water that's in that spinach? You don't want that in your uh, in your cheese mixture, so you want to wring it out. Hi, Ann. What's up? So that's that. Get it the best you can, and that's that's all it takes. And then you just unfold the towel and drop the spinach in your bowl and stir it in. So so that's what we're gonna do. I'll just drop all this little spinach in then you can just throw this in the wash and yeah and then your spinach is all perfect just the way you want it so there we go so this is the sauce or the cheese mixture for the manicotti okay just like that it's super simple it's not too hard it's kind of like lasagna we're just making lasagna in a different Form, like a spinach spinach cheese lasagna but it's called manicotti all right so I always told my son it must have been the noodles the noodle shape that he just thought was super super cool all right okay so you got your mixture all done I'm gonna make sure I got everything in there you guys spinach Italian seasoning egg yep we're good and then I'm just gonna take a uh, yes, uh, I'm making the shadow box. You won. I got some ideas for it. Oh, sweet. 
I must be talking to Miss Holly or someone. Okay, so I'm going to stick all of this cheese mixture. I'm going to get a different spoon that's a little easier to scoop with. And we're going to put all this cheese mixture into this uh, Ziploc baggie. Okay, just makes it easy when we're going to stuff our little manicotti shells. Makes it so much easier. Hi, Chris. Oh, is Christine on here? I can't. I don't know. I haven't seen Christine. I just thought I saw her name for a minute. All right. Okay. Get all this in here. Make sure you get all the yumminess out of the bowl. Okay. And then you're just going to uh, put three dishes over there. And then you're just going to get as much air as you can out of there and then just zip it up at the top. It's kind of like when you're doing frosting or melted chocolate or something in your, your bags. And then we're just going to cut the corner off. You want a pretty big hole because the manicotis are pretty big. And then that way we can just squeeze the cheese right into our manicotti noodles. And this is the manicotti noodle. It's like a, a round kind of um, a log that is doesn't have any like a hollow log. That's what it reminds me of. Just like a hollow log, just like that. And um, that's what we're going to put the cheese in, okay? But before we do that real quick, because we got to put these in this pan when they're done, you're just going to find yourself a jar of marinara or make your own marinara. I'm going to try to start teaching you guys, oh, sorry, how to do some of these kind of sauces and things. Um, so you can make them yourself too. So we're going to put a bottom or a cup in the bottom of this pan, a cup of the sauce. Just gonna put, and then you're gonna save the rest for the top. Hi, Mary. So we're just going to, I'm just gonna spread it on there with my uh, measuring cup. Just kind of spread it out all over the bottom so it's covered. And that is what we're going to lay our manicottis in, okay? So the easiest way, the easiest way that I found to fill that manicotti is to fill it like halfway turn it around and fill the other half because if you try to get it to squeeze all the way through sometimes it doesn't work and you're breaking your shell and all the things so I'm gonna I'm gonna set this just like this and then we're just going to squeeze some of this cheese I'm gonna you can see it going in so you can see where it's about halfway. And then you can just put it on the other side. Oh, I didn't get it in there right, okay. And then uh, squeeze it in the other side, just like that. till it's full of cheese on both sides. And then you're just going to lay it in your pan just like that, okay? So we're just gonna continue to feel our manicotti. And this recipe says these cheese will fill like 10 manicottis, so we'll see. Just do it till your cheese is gone. All right, so there we go. Go ahead and here on the other side. it up with cheese. Here we go. And then we're just going to lay it on lay it in our pan, just like that. I don't know how I can do it so you can see everything. All right. Okay. So that's what we're doing. So has anyone ever made this? Um, you have the Tupperware. I know. You guys have had this for ages. Ages, ages, ages. <laughs> But it's a good one. It's a good little one. It's perfect for like 
mac and cheese, you know, like when you're just making some craft mac and cheese, it's like the perfect um, strainer for that. All right. See, I told you. There we go. Now, Renee's having trouble with her cheese, so just do the best you can. I gotta remember to stick it in before I start squeezing. So, it's kind of messy. I'm sure that they have machines that do this, but this is the easiest way that I've found to, to get your cheese and your manicottis. Messy, but easy. <clears throat> so, Todd told me to tell everybody hi. Tonight, it is good. It is really good. Whoops. And like I said, if you wanted to, this one's just a spinach cheese manicotti, but you could easily add hamburger to your uh, marinara sauce if you wanted to. So, but we're just making a cheese manicotti. I mean, that's usually all you put in the manicotti is the cheese mixture, but you could add beef if you wanted to. All right. Or whatever else. What do we got? We got four. There's five. Ooh. I didn't, I didn't look to see if any of you have made manicotti before. It's not too difficult. And if you, you know, if you need to make more cheese, make more cheese. Make as many as you need for your family. So, yeah, Todd, he's, did he get on? He's over, he's over laying sod at our son's house. So, anyway. All right. Okay. So he's not here. He finally gets home on a early and then we have other things. He had something he had to go do, but. It's all good. All right. Let's see how many more of these we can get. You have made it. Yeah, it's it's not hard to make. It's not. It's more like I'd rather just uh, make lasagna, actually. <laughs> it's a little bit easier. But if you have time and it's fancy and it's fun and... Um, you know, I just thought I would share, show you how to make it, or at least how I make it. Whoops. Just pick up all this. I, I put a cutting board down just in case I did get some everywhere. I could, I could just scoop it up. So, um, let's see. I was just make, oh, thinking of making this or lasagna tomorrow night. Yeah, there you go, Mary. <laughs> Get her done. So we're gonna we're gonna make this tonight, and then we're gonna bake it off on Wednesday, and um, make some salad and some bread or something to go with it on Wednesday, so you can see it all. Done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, this is about perfect. I did good. I did good. Can you make stuffed shells with that cheese? Yes, you can. In fact, it's really similar to that stuffed shell recipe that I did a while back. I mean, I that was a long time ago when I did the stuffed shells, but the lasagna stuffed shells, yeah, it's basically kind of like the same thing, but yes, for sure. You could stick this in stuffed shells. For sure. Whoops. <laughs> oh, shoot. We'll try again. Okay. And this one kind of split on me, but it's okay. Just stick it on the, see like how it kind of split right there? It's all right. We're just going to lay the split side down into the sauce. 
and it won't even matter. So, so I'm going to scoot these a little bit closer so we can squeeze at least one or two more in here. So, and this package of manicotti that I got had um, 14 in there. So, so I had a couple more than I needed. All right. And just shove it in there with your finger. I think I'm going to do one more so I can make So I'm going to get 11. I'm just going to do one more because I got this cheese down here and a little more in the back. And um, you like using the no cook pasta? Oh, I know, huh? That's good. I is it the thin stuff? That's the stuff that I use. I love that thin no cook pasta or lasagna. It is super, super easy. Okay. We're just going to shove this in here with our fingers. Huh. I always think I'm going to be clean and tidy when I get on here, but oh well. So, <clears throat> Hi, Christine. I'm glad you hopped on. I'm glad you got on because it's not going to be a very long one today because we just got a lot of stuff going on tonight. So I'm just food prepping for Wednesday, and then we're going to finish this meal on, on Wednesday. And I'm going to show you guys, after it's all baked, we'll make some garlic bread or something. And I'll figure out some things to go with it. So that's what we're going to do tonight. All right. Let's see. I'm just trying to squeeze it all over here to this little end point so I can stick it in. Oh, I don't know whose stuff that is. We thought it was yours because of the SUU thing. It's a Utah State. Oh, it says Utah State. Oh, I put something in Haley's room that wasn't, wasn't hers. I'm glad you got here too, Christine. So I'm just going to stick this one right up here at the top. So I actually got 11 out of this. So, so there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So I got eleven in here in this nine by thirteen pan, and I have three left over, but that's okay. I'll probably just someone will snack on them. Someone will eat them. So, um, yeah. Okay. And then there's just a couple more things we got to do to uh, finish off the top, and then it'll be ready to go in the oven. So, all right, Let's see if I can get rid of some of this mess. Okay, so now we got our, our uh, manicottis all filled. They're all ready to go. Then you're just gonna take the rest of your uh, sauce and pour it over the top, just like this. I'm probably gonna get a spoon. Let's see, I'm just going to wipe this one off, and um, we're just going to spread this sauce over the top, just like that. All right. Smells, it smells super good. Okay, and then you got your, you got your sauce on, and then you're just going to take your mozzarella cheese and put it all over the top like this. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of, of the Parmesan cheese and sprinkle some of that on there. I'll probably just go ahead and use the rest of this bag because there's not. Um, yeah, Holly, if you come Wednesday, this is what we're having for dinner. So yeah, girl, get it. Let's see. Yep, you better come over for dinner. She's thinking about coming Wednesday, so that'll be perfect. Okay, so we got two kinds of yummy cheese on there because we love the cheese. And then if you have fresh parsley, use fresh parsley. I'm just going to use some dried just to stick on the top. It's more just for pretty than anything, but it does add a little bit of flavor. So just generously sprinkle some 
some parsley flakes. And if you have fresh, I would wait till um, I would wait till the end, and then just put the chopped parsley on there right before you serve it. So you guys, there we go. Look at that beautiful pan of manicotti, and it's going to be so good. And I'm super excited to. I wish we were eating it tonight, but. We ate a lunch, a late lunch, and I'm not even hungry. So we thought that would be a perfect. And then Todd had to leave, and life got crazy. So yeah, that's the way it is in our house. So anyways, we will for sure send prayers, Christine. We'll keep them coming for you and hope that you feel better. So anyway, but you guys, I'm sorry it was so short and sweet tonight. Let's see, I'm in a nursing home right now, and it's been interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. But yeah, this is just going to be a, a shorter video. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Um, I hope everything is going good for all of you. And if, um, Please tell the recipe again. Okay, so let me read it for you. So you need 10 manicotti noodles, okay? Um, they're just the round tube looking noodles, like a, a hollow uh, log. That's what they remind me of. And you have to cook them. You cook them to whatever the directions say on the package of your manicotti noodles. Mine said, you know, bring the water to a boil. Cook for seven minutes. You don't want to overcook these because then if you're, um, if they're overcooked, when you put the filling in, they're going to break on you because uh, they don't have any stability left in them and they'll just break and it'll be hard. But um, anyway, so that you got your manicotti noodles, you're just going to cook them up, salt your water like the ocean, just like I always say with pasta and do that. And then you're going to put two, 16 ounces of cottage cheese, one cup of mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of sh uh, shredded parm, parmesan, parmesan cheese, a cup of spinach, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and one egg. That is what's in the cheese. And then I just mix all that up, put it in a Ziploc bag, um, cut a hole in the one end, and then just squeeze the cheese into the shells. And then you're going to put your marinara on the bottom, then put all your shells and you're going to put the rest of the marinara sauce on top, two cups of cheese, about a half a cup of parm. doesn't really matter. Put as much cheese on there as your family would like, more or less. That's, it's really not going to matter. And then you can use fresh or dried parsley on top. It just makes, it just gives it like a little, it just makes it prettier and gives it a little bit of flavor, but I like it more for the color so it's not just all white. And then you're gonna stick it in a 350 degree oven and you're gonna bake it for 25 to 30 minutes or until you see the sauce bubbling and the cheese is all melty and it's kind of start getting a little brown on top. Then you know your manicotti is done. And then you're just gonna to wanna to take it out, stick it on your counter, let it sit there for about 10 minutes to cool down, stop bubbling. And then everything will just kind of come together and then yeah, then get a spatula, get it out of your pan, and eat it. So, so it's super fun. It's just a different way, a different presentation. It looks pretty. It looks a little fancier. So if you're having a, a dinner party and you want it to be just a little fancier than spaghetti, you can always uh, make your manicotti. So anyway, and the spinach cheese mixture is is really really good and like I said if you want to add hamburger to your sauce feel free that's um, that's another thing you can do and I'm just gonna put some tinfoil on it pop it in the fridge and then come Wednesday night I'm gonna bake it off so and I'll show you guys what it looks like on Wednesday but yeah you guys that's that's what we got going on so thanks for um, hanging out with me and thanks for being here and uh, being such a good support to Holly and I. And um, I think we'll do the word for um, the word for tonight. We'll do pasta. We'll do the word pasta for tomorrow, okay? So pasta is the word. 
pasta pasta okay so anyways we will see you Wednesday and I love you and this is Renee doing what I love bye